So only 10 changes, so how do you judge that at the end of the game? It started off a bit slow, uh, as you might expect, because they've not uh, had any time to prepare for the game, maybe a couple of, uh, couple of nerves. But after they scored, you know, they had no, nothing to lose, and I thought they played some very, very good stuff, and uh, I was pleased with it. Is it the sort of night where you learn a lot about your players, particularly the youngsters? Definitely, or everyone. You know, you see the leadership of Nemanja, he was absolutely top out there. Uh, the young kid, Ahmad, did really well. Mason again, he, he looked like a, a seasoned uh, professional out there. He's, he's only 19 and uh, the way he's played uh, today as well, very, very good. Start of the second half, they seem to take a bit of control there. Why do you think that happened? Well, you expect them, you, as I said, they've not had too much time to prepare and uh, we went into, into half-time quite pleased, didn't really get out of the traps and unfortunately they got a goal from, from a corner that was never a corner, it was a throw-in. So that's very disappointing for us. Have you, is your mind on the Liverpool game already? Have you picked that side in your head? <laughs> no, and this is um, not the night to think about Liverpool. Now we're uh, disappointed because I I thought we, we played well and we could have, could have got a point towards the end and maybe even uh, should have created more second half, but I'm happy with them. Just generally, there's so much football at the moment. Are we evolving into a time when you're going to have two entirely separate teams, where 10 changes just becomes the norm because no. th there's so much football? No, never, because it can't be like this again. You can't play Thursday, Sunday, uh, Tuesday, Thursday. It's impossible. So that's, that's the reason why we had to make these changes. It's just unheard of. I've got to say it again. Um, if this game was tomorrow, no problem. I, mm. And we had the next one on Saturday. If you have two games in two days in between, there's no problem. But this is impossible for the players to per, uh, to perform at this level. Uh, Thursday night, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, impossible. I quite agree. Manchester City are crowned champions tonight because of yeah. this result. And they are almost at that stage where they can rotate ten every other game. I thought Manchester United would follow that and the other big clubs would have to do similar. <laughs> you know, if you want to take up the challenge with them, of course, we need to strengthen our squad. And uh, congratulations to them. They've had a fantastic season. Uh, very pleased with my boys because they've, they've made, uh, made it into the last 10, 10 days of the season uh, with a team, that, uh, with a Man City team ahead of us that are lauded as the, the best in, in Europe. So we've done well. Um, so, but we'll, we want to take the next step and it might be that we, uh, we need uh, a couple of more to, to have a, a stronger squad. Thank you, Oli. Thank you.